What is going on guys, Moran here and welcome to another video. I only got a few hours of sleep last night, but I'm freaking excited, man, because it is another day. We get to live another day and that's what I'm excited about. And lately I've been, there's been so much going on, man, that like last night I just couldn't sleep, you know, because I just wanted the next day to be there. And we're here. What's up, bro? Hey, what's up? Today I'm training with Butter. This man is a calisthenics legend, actual world champion. Uh, since two weeks ago? Yeah, I competed in the world championships in calisthenics, pull-ups, dips, uh, for one rep max. For how much did you do for one rep? Under 60 kilogram added on my way to dip. Chin up 100 kilogram added. 100 kg. Anyway, I'm honored to train with this guy. He's also a friend of mine. We met a couple months ago. Wrapping me up. Feels like I'm gonna be skydiving. Now we have to wait right in the middle. Fifty kg warm up. Takeaway number one of this workout: it starts at the warm up. Yeah. There's a very explosive warm up, very little reps, which is interesting. Yeah. So I used to do like six to eight reps for warm up. Yeah, it's called a ramp up. So you ramp up till your one rep max, but you actually don't test your one rep max. You just keep training low rep ranges. And then once in a while you test your one rep max. Right bro, what do you think I should do man today? We need to set a PR I think. I think uh, 65 would be nice. What? Say what? 65 for one rep. All right? Ah, uh, you think I can do that? I'm sure, yeah. Because your previous one was 60 kg, but that's a long time, right? That's a long time ago. It is time. You're around me, maybe it boosts a little bit. I am around you, yeah. Gives you a little bit of confidence to get uh, 65. Let's try, man. 60s. Ah. Easy. Yup. Oh. Was he hoog enough? Yeah, man. Kijk maar terug. Five kgs. We did it, guys. One rep, 65 kgs. Yeah, it's insane. No straps, fasted. Yeah, fasted, actually. You gave yeah. me the energy, man. Sometimes you need that motivation, man. Uh, 90 kg. Casually adding plates. Yeah. Damn, bro. Let's go. Easy. <sighs> Without pre-workout, just one coffee, no excuses. I've never seen this before in my life. Hey guys, if you're wondering where this sick outfit is from, this is Alpha Lead, okay? Really rocking the legs in this one. As you can see, I'm getting lean guys, I'm getting there. Rocking the black stringer with the new logo. Super sick. So if you guys want to pick anything up, they have like all the fitness gear you guys see me wearing the videos are from Alpha Lead. They have loads of epic women items as well. Amazing leggings, etc. So if you guys want to pick something up, make sure to use my code Marine because that gives you a 10% Discount. Only had a couple exercises, but so many reps and sets. Yeah, smart training. Hey. It's definitely something you guys can try as well. High rest, low reps to improve your one rep max on uh, the pull-ups, the dips, the push-ups maybe. Everything is a little bit similar with strength training. So I was really starving after this workout, but I forgot to bring a protein shake. So I decided to pick one up at the gym. Now it says 53 grams of protein. I was already kind of surprised by that. But then I looked at the macros guys um, and I paid like four euros for this freaking bottle. 55 grams of carbs, okay, in this, in this drink. And 55 grams of it is freaking sugar, man. This just made me realize, first of all, why I'm with my protein. But second of all, how many shitty freaking health and fitness brands are out there that are just literally not healthy for you, man, so. Now guys, here's one of my biggest and easiest dieting hacks, and that is using a little spoon instead of a big one when you're eating oats or eating anything for that matter. One, you could take more bites, and two, you will be eating for a little bit of a longer period of time, you'll eat slower, so your body will give the signal that you're actually full. So 
So guys, I want you to meet someone. This is Mitchell. And uh, maybe you quickly want to introduce yourself to the people. Yeah, my name is Mitchell. So last week I finished my school sport marketing and uh, last year I did my internship here at Myzel. I started as an intern for the marketing and a few weeks later I became a Myzel coach. But now I'm uh, the manager of the Myzel coaches. In between you have also uh, even done like designing and uh, some yeah, filming. Yeah. And this man does it all, you know, he's really a uh, really hard worker, really proved himself as an intern. So my goal as the manager of the coaches is push myself to the next level and help many people as is possible. Now, I told you guys in the beginning of the series, one of our business goals with My Shorted Lifestyle is to expand our coaching team to 15 Myself coaches. So how are we doing so far? Because it is a very big goal. Good, very good. At the moment we have 12 coaches and the goal is 15, so we are almost there. I'm still looking for new coaches, so if you're interested, hit me up, okay. send me yeah. a message and uh, we can talk, but it's only for the people in the Netherlands. I'll put his email in the description box of this video. And um, yeah, man, I just want to say I'm really proud of you. Absolutely Thanks. killing it. And um, we're going to have a, a team trip also in about two weeks, you know, with the team. We're going to Walibi. It's a uh, theme park. So I'm excited about that. It's going to be uh, good times. We work hard and we play hard. That sound though. <laughs> Man, it's an epic gadget. The new FPV drone. Look at that. It looks like it's out from outer space or some shit. Damn. I know where you're thinking, what the hell is this? Well, these are two salmon burgers, each 100 grams and then some veggies with spices. Oh, pretty okay. These are like pre-cooked, so it just saves a lot of time. I wanted to try something different. Now in Houston, I took a little diet break, okay? Because in total, I was gonna be cutting for 16 weeks. So I wanted to take a diet break um, around the middle. And now we got about six weeks left. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, what I look like this morning in the gym. And I think we can tell that it's going well. But then I also have some other fitness goals, right? Like doing the L-sit to a handstand. Which is gonna be a tough one, okay? I'm, I'm not that close there yet. Current book I'm reading is this one by the president of Pixar and Disney Animation. Very good book on management. There it is, sunshine coming in. It's been a long and productive day at the office and so now chilling for a little bit, man. Got an Aperol Spritz right here, love this drink. And um, yeah, man, we gotta celebrate the little wins. There's not just wins, there are also losses, which I'm gonna talk about in a second. Here we have a Pokeball with my favorite, with, with mango. All right, so we got some serious stuff to talk about, man. Um, some lows, because like a lot of things are going extremely well, you know, in my life right now. Um, I'm feeling amazing, which is the, the number one most important thing, um, and healthy, reaching my fitness goals, on my way to do that, and it's going great. Um, business goals are going great, you know, business is thriving, and so all those things are, are amazing. There's this one thing that's been truly bothering me, and it, it, it hurts me more than I expected even, you know, um, and that is YouTube, man. I started YouTube, um, eight years ago by now, you know, I'm, I'm getting an old, I'm, I'm becoming an old fuck, you know, um, 27 years old right now, but like, this is the first year of my life I'm, I'm starting to feel like, like I'm getting a little bit old, like it's the first year that I'm actually noticing that feeling of like, wow, life moves fast, you know, so, so I started all this time ago and um, like at some point, you know, the channel started blowing up, like started doing really well and um, I started, you know, building my career off of YouTube. It, it was my first love. This has always been my number one priority. Then I started, you know, building businesses and it started doing really well. And so right now I focus way more on that. Um, now last year I got the burnout and I quit YouTube for a while. And then I came back on YouTube and um, I was excited to come back and still am excited to be back. But the views guys and like the, the, the subscribers too, but like the views are just like bad, you know, that's just an honest way to describe it. Uh, they've just been bad. And this is something that over my career, over the last eight years, it's been going like that. And I've experienced this many times and I don't think I've talked about this much because it's, it's, like, it's a little bit of a, you know, like a shame thing to talk about even like in a way. Um, cause it's like, it shows that you're, you're not doing well, even though like, you know, my business and everything is going freaking great, you know? Um, so that's, th this is separate from that. It is, I feel like this all, almost like, um, in a way like hurts me like more than, you know, like anything that happens to my business. Uh, because this is my first love. This is the reason why, um, you know, I was able to actually like have success in my business in the first place. You know, one of the big reasons because YouTube was the first community that I've built, you know, YouTube is a platform that changed my life. And right now I feel like, you know, like I'm, I'm still like, you know, I'm putting in this effort, uh, but it's not really paying off. 
And that just sucks, man. It just sucks. And I'm not here to complain about it, you know, uh, because you still see me uploading, even though I don't have to right now, you know. Uh, YouTube is, is a very small part of my income. And so I, I don't depend on YouTube the way I used to depend on it, which is why it, it's sort of like, uh, was interesting to me that I have this, this feeling like that it hurts me so much, you know, even though um, I'm not really dependent on it. Uh, but it's just something that I always truly enjoyed and it was my hobby. And maybe I'm just spoiled, maybe I just I just got like successful at that young age and I was spoiled and now I'm, you know, uh, like I cannot say I'm not happy with the views that I'm still getting because I am and I, I should be. But you guys can imagine once you've reached something and then you go down, it just, it just always feels like you're failing in a certain way. I guess my message to you guys is like, this is not the first time this happened to me. I just never really shared this online. This happened so many times over the years. Um, where the views just went down. I was like, oh my God, my life is going to shit. And that never actually happened, you know, because I always kept going, I always kept uploading. And I didn't quit, I didn't give up. And maybe, you know, here, here and there, like I, I was gone, maybe for like a couple weeks um, in total in all these freaking years, you know, even though the numbers were not always showing it. Um, and in the beginning, one of the first one and a half years of uploading, uh, no one was freaking watching my videos, you know, and I, I kept uploading. Um, now I'm obviously at a stage where I don't like need to do that. Uh, for my business but i still enjoy it and i don't want to give up on this yet but there's also this voice inside my head telling me Moran, like you're taking one day out of your week you know to, to make a youtube video but that's one out of the seven days in your week maybe six because i'm not working on one day a week you know so it's it's, it's like business wise too it's like man it's this uh this consideration thing um so yeah man i'm that those are just some thoughts in my mind man and a lot of creators are struggling with this so i'm not the only one and as i said i'm not here to complain this is just like the way it is and um yeah, just like sharing, like this social media world, man, is, is full of ups and downs. You, you have to see all the great, great shit, uh, but you don't see this. So I felt like sharing this, especially at a point where it is down, uh, but this is the most vulnerable point. Uh, like it's easier to now wait until the views get higher and then talk about it. Um, but I'm talking about it now because I feel like that's, that's the realist. And um, yeah, man, but um, as I said, the, the views may be going down, you know, but I'm still up here. I'm still up here, you know, putting in the work, you know, and uh, th that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Um, when things don't go your way, you, you, you gotta keep going, man. You gotta keep following your path. And so I also feel like maybe I don't wanna make certain videos that other people are making or that work well for the algorithm, which is why the videos don't do as well. Like there's a lot of different reasons I can come up with. Uh, and I, I just literally put in less work than I did all these years ago when it was my number one focus, you know. Um, but still, I would love to ask you guys, like, what do you want to see, you know, uh, what will make you happy, you know, watching my channel? And what do you want to learn from me? Because I feel like that's always the most important thing. I want to serve you guys, I want to help you guys out. I want to, like, help you change your life, you know. That's honestly what I'm all about. Um, I love helping people with realizing their potential and um, achieving their dreams because most people are freaking stuck um, in this average lifestyle and I don't like that. And some people can um, find peace with that and some people cannot. And if, if you are the person that cannot find peace with that and you want more out of life, then let me know the topics that you want me to make videos on, man. And um, the vlogs, I'll keep them coming for now. The podcast is obviously also coming, so I'm excited about that. But I just wanted to like, you know, share these, these raw feelings with you guys. And uh, maybe some, uh, some uh, show me some love in the comments, man. That would, that would do me well, uh, to be honest. Catch you in the next video. Much love, guys.